Yo, yo, what's happening, man? It's your boy Papa Duck back with another very informative video, and I need y'all to post this video because I don't know if y'all heard, but they came up with 13 different people, right, to create the curriculum for black history to be taught in school. Now, listen, out of them 13 people, five was black, one was Hispanic, six was white. That shit makes no fucking sense, and I'm gonna tell you why. Do you ever think that the Jewish people will allow another group of people that's non-Jewish to represent them or speak about them or teach about them in school? Makes no sense. But this is what happened to us. You know why? Because we allow that shit to happen. It's to the point now we got to start blaming ourselves because if a person can walk in your store and keep stealing, keep stealing, you do nothing about it, you think they're going to stop stealing? We do nothing about this. It is crazy for them to say that they are put in position to come up with the curriculum when it comes to black history and when we know they are alive from day fucking one but this is how you control billions of people see first of all all these black folk y'all be getting together buying all this balenciaga bullshit y'all want to buy gucci and all that fuck shit you need to start putting the money together so we can create our own schools we do not need their certifications we do not need nothing from them especially not their curriculums but when you allow Another group of people to tell your story for you better than you, you got to be out your rabbit ass mind. And see, they're going to use the top preachers. They're going to use the top people that's in politics, whether it's uh, city commissioners, whatever it is, that's going to be a buffer between the people and the government. And it always be black and, it's all, and it always be appointed by them. This is a simple fix, simple game. It's crazy, dog, how we born into a world where we allow another group of motherfuckers to tell us what to do, to make what they say is certified, be certified. All the rules go through them. Like I tell you, you can't let the person that create the problem create the solution. Shit makes no sense. And this is why they, they go on TV and say shit like, like, uh, Ms., uh, I think his name, Jerry Fink, or whatever the fuck his name is, the CEO or whatever of BlackRock. I'm going to do a video about that. He said out of his mouth that we, we basically create behaviors. We basically coerce you to do the shit that you do. We make behaviors. Do you understand what that means, bro? And if you know who BlackRock is and Vanguard, bro, these are the people that run the world. Not Google. Not Apple. But BlackRock. Vanguard. Bro. This is an easy fix. I'm going to suggest that all black folks, especially the ones with money and influence, start coming together and create our own schools, create our own jobs, create our own everything. Just that simple. It's so simple. Every group of people that was, dep that was under any type of oppression that came together put themselves in a better position. But you know what we do? We try to do everything on our own. We try to buy everything on our own. We'll go broke just to say this is ours. I, I, I. When you never will ever own nothing in America, you never own shit, even real estate. You have to have an allodial title. Look the word up. Allodial title to own anything in America, and they will never issue that to you, especially as a black person. But I will say this. We do those things because we've been taught to do it. It's not that we stupid or dumb. We've been taught and we've allowed these people to create these curriculums and create these ways that we adapt, that they know gonna, gonna pretty much bring us to our demise. But it's time we start waking up. How the fuck we gonna let 13 people that us as black folks, first of all, didn't agree or didn't uh, 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 say it was okay for those people to represent us. And again, it was six whites, one Hispanic and five blacks. Shit makes no sense, bro. We the only race that everybody make money off of. We the only race that we let everybody tell our story better than us. We the only race that don't have a fucking thing when it comes to a hub or a community or one leader, right? Or no type of structure when it comes to us. We always trying to eat at another bitch table. This is why at the political table, black folks don't have a seat because we're always spending our money with everybody that's already at that table. Understand you're gonna always be taken advantage of. Look at your son, look at your grandson and say, I failed you right now. 
Look at them and tell them, they gonna be up shit creek. You think it's worse now for you and for I, they gonna be up shit creek. 20 years from now, the things that's going on, imagine them growing up in the world 20 years from now, where they don't have nothing to compare what the old world was to the new world that's gonna be presented in front of them every day of their life. Think about that. The shit that we saw, how it was and how it is, they gonna grow up right in the middle of it and now you gonna have no other thing to compare it to. They're gonna go along with whatever's put in place. And you see what they doing in school when it comes to forcing and coercing them to go with the rainbow. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's not right. Again, I'm not against nobody. I don't give a fuck what you do. But do not force this on people or children. We talking undeveloped minds that don't know no better. But y'all put this shit in school Y'all put it into the curriculum, you're forcing it on them. And we sitting back letting that shit happen. Listen, black folks, I'm talking about people in general, won't give a damn what color you are when it comes to this. We need to take our children out of school. These schools are, are, are basically taking our children, opening their head up, and it's pouring all kind of bullshit in their, in their head. And this is what's creating their reality to the point they don't even respect you. They respect them more than they respect you. And you gotta understand that. But this is by design. This is they are being coerced to go this way. Why you think they fight to try to be the ones to teach the world how to be a doctor, how to be this, how to be that? Because they want to implement their agendas in that shit. Make you scared as hell to take a real herb, but you ain't to take a pill. That shit makes no sense. If you think about it in this shit, no sense. You scared to take a herb. Why? Because it came out the ground. You're scared to touch dirt, but you'll take that pill. The same pill that they, the same pill that they, that you taking, they created that pill from that same herb that you scared to take. That's why I say, man, people need to start wising up. I'm looking for groups of people that I can be around and I can just coerce with, and, 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 and I'm gonna say converse with, talk to, and be a part of because it's time to separate from all these people that's either super brainwashed or just don't want, or just don't give a damn. I'm tired of being around those type of people, man. I don't want to do that no more because it's to the point where it is so dumbfounded that a two-year-old can understand what's going on. But yet we're grown folks and we're not picking this shit up fast enough to the point we, especially black folks, we at the bottom of the totem pole. Black people hate black people. Our women, I ain't gonna say all, but majority of them don't, give, don't like us. No one like us, bro. And what I want people to understand is this, especially black women. The black man is at the bottom of the totem pole. Many people got more rules and regulations <clears throat> and they help animals more than they help us. So for, before you come out your mouth and say a black man ain't shit or a black woman ain't shit, well, we need to get together. Like I told you, every song I done done, not every, but majority of them, especially lately, we need each other. Because if you think because you black and you better than another, you ain't shit. I'm here to tell you, they don't count how much money you got, you ain't shit. You will never be shit. Why? Because you and your people ain't shit. And you have to understand that. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care what type of resources you have. You as a people gonna always be at the mercy of other people. Meaning your children, your mama, your daddy, everybody. Because we as a people, we submit to other motherfuckers when we're the ones with the sauce. We're the ones with everything. Everybody basically make more money off of us than we make off ourselves. And it's basically because we've been taught this way. And if any other race feel differently, that just that just says that you don't care about my conditions as a person. Because I promise you, you will never trade places with me under these conditions that we go through in America. And that lets me know that you understand the stuff that we go through, which lets me know that you can make a conscious decision to understand why I feel the way I feel and I'm saying the things that I'm saying. I don't have the resources to be racist. None of us do. You can't change your own situation. How can you be racist? You have to understand what racism is to be racist. But our conditions and the way we live, this shit gotta change. And the first thing we need to do is get out of these sick, sick ass school systems. That's where all the preparation for the rest of your life starts. So with that being said, like I said, man, you know, I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. But I tell you all the time, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. 
let that marinate. I'm out.